Can I make the deck cont- only really needs like two pieces to work, mm-hmm. right? So. Ah, and uh, Russell Lee goes straight f- to fetch an island rather than a dual land. What do you think about that? Hmm. Uh, maybe he doesn't know what Yongsen is straight on. Mm-hmm. And plus, uh, being usually the blue white stone blade deck is heavy on basics, and they don't need that many duels to really function. So fetching an island here instead of anything like a tundra isn't that. He's, he isn't put at a disadvantage. Right, and here we see Portent. Uh, Portent is a, is a card I, I, I would uh, expect to see more of in uh, Miracles, right? Yep, so Portent is more of a Miracles card. So it's interesting to see it here from La- Russell. He could very well be on Miracles. Maybe he's playing a hybrid. Who knows? I see a lot of, a lot of people, you know in Blue-White, Blue White, right? There's like a huge branching out of, and they're, they're like, they share the same cards, like the same family, you know? There's like some like Blue-White, uh, there's a Stone Blade, there's the Mentor, and then there's like some other stuff, you know. But they mostly share the same card, so it's probably it's probably like Miracle Stone yeah. Blade-ish. And this is uh, it's a really funky mentor deck. It's not Miracles and it's not Stone Blade. It's like it's just a mentor deck with like two magmatic sinkholes main board. It's really weird. So uh, at this moment Russell could be really on anything. Okay. So but we know for sure he's blue white based. And we see here a collective brutality from Yongsen. And this is a telling sign that he is on re- mono black reanimator as right. black red wouldn't really run this type of discard effect so collective brutality the escalate is doing extra work here allowing yongsen to discard any big fatties he has in hand mm, true 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 yep. so he's probably going to drain two and disca- discard an instant of sorcery mm. but yongsen has to decide the escalate bef- when he casts a spell Looks like we're going to see response here. Uh, I think this is going to be a brainstorm. He has to hide some of the cards Russell Lee does not want Yongsen to take. Common practice. Oh, that's that's counterbalance. Oh, so it's probably, yep, it's probably Miracles deck. Okay, so it is Miracles. <laughs> so we're back to Miracles. <laughs> this is like the third time I've changed the name. <laughs> okay, okay. Blue White Miracles. It has been confirmed. I don't think Stone, I don't think any other variant of Blue White actually plays counterbalance, okay. no? You'll see mir- you'll see the counterbalance now, then we'll we'll see Russell draw a Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> like what the hell's I going be on? <laughs> uh, I think I think some people actually play both. Hmm, interesting. I have seen a few people playing both. They're not not like top tier decks, but you know. So it's it's instant or sorcery, so none of these targets are legal, except for the disenchant. Nope. Is it, is it no. So, so it never mind, sorry, I was seeing things. So there's no legal targets for Young Sen to take here. Oh. And just pass back up the turn. Gonna drain for two. Yep. So this X has a pseudo entomb effect, but um, chance of the annex one of the weaker targets you can reanimate because you can just get removed with source of power shares. Right, and uh, Yosin also has Grave Titan in his, yeah. in his hand. You would you prefer if he discarded the Grave Titan instead? Yeah, I would like the Grave Titan and just in just in the just in the blind Grave Titan is better. Right, and the virtue of getting two zombies beside the Grave Titan when he enters the battlefield as well, right? Correct. <coughs> okay, he goes for the Tundra. Now that now that Russell knows for sure what Yongsen is playing and he's no he's not he's gonna be not afraid of any wasteland shenanigans. I think now Tundra is now's the right time to get a Tundra. Yep, there's no reason not to get a Tundra here. <coughs> I think we're just gonna see a display of counterbalance. Okay. Counterbalance. Okay. okay. Draws uh, another collective brutality. Okay. Lake of the Dead. Ooh. Oh, he's going off? Um, Lake of the Dead, I believe it's. You can tap. This is for four, four or five, I believe. That's or a six. lot. Is he hard casting Grave Titan? He's yep. hard casting the Grave Titan. So, can we pull up Lake of the Dead? I believe you have to sack a land when it comes into play. Yes. Then you can sack a swamp and you get five black. Oh, this is a. Oh, oh this, that's new art. This is the Vintage Masters art on from the Magic Online. Interesting. But you know, this, this, is, yeah, this is the right card. This is the right card. Let me just bring out the the version that we are more we are more familiar with. Okay. Yeah. And uh yeah, Youngstan has just dumped a lot of resources for that Grave Titan just for it to get countered by force of will. But it sort of, it makes sense why Youngsen had dumped the Chancellor of the Annex instead of the Grave Titan. He may have that follow up play of just casting the Grave Titan from hand. Mm-hmm. So dumping that Chancellor it makes a little more sense. But uh yeah, uh 
as we all as we all, as we all familiar with the reanimator deck, it tends to spend a lot of resources to pump out one card, right? Like you have to discard it, you have to have some mana source, and you have to, at the end of the day you have to sacrifice some lands. And all that to, to cast one card. And for that card to get countered is a very huge blow towards Yongsen's plan. Yep, so this is probably um, looking very dire for Yongsen here, especially with the Ponder setting up the counterbalance. Yeah, yeah. Countering maybe any future reanimates. Yes, I think. That this coming from Yongsen's end. Yeah, I think this might actually be more or less game over. Did, okay, so uh, Russell has a monk token in play that we cannot see, which is the dice in between the, the monastery dice. mentor. Yeah. We are low budget stream, so we can, <laughs> do not have like. So this is a reanimate, right? Yeah, this is reanimate. Yeah. And if young Russell probably set this up with the uh, ponder. Hmm. Counterbalance sugar. Counter oh, here's a counter. Wait. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, did he? I think he knows. He probably set up terminus. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. But then, so letting this resolve is really su quite surprising here. But Russ Russell does need uh, Russell. Uh, he does need to lose a life. Youngson Youngson lose a six life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He loses six life because of the reanimate. Yeah. Just want to make sure the life total is, is accurate, right? Yeah. Is it? It's not, it's not. Okay, should I tell them? Yeah. So, so sorry about that. While Nat is telling Yongsen to lose six life, Russell plays the Flooded Strand and he drew, a, he drew the card. Doesn't seem to be the terminus that we were talking about just now. So, uh... Oh, he, he did lose a six life. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. Sorry. Oh, he did lose six life. Yeah. Uh, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm, it's my fault. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, dude, Russell Lee did draw the card. It wasn't Terminus. So, um, I think at this point of time, Ru uh, Yong Sen might have found uh, a hole in Russell's defenses and has snuck in a Grave Titan. How do you think Russell is supposed to deal with this now? Because I think if he had the source to plowshare or the removal, he would have gotten rid of the Grave Titan on the spot. You mean uh, you're, you're supposed to plowshare on top? You reveal to the counterbalance? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hmm. Yep, so the, I think the only play here is getting uh, Terminus. Ooh, and him to Torek. Really revealing a Wanna Stream Mentor, okay. Hmm, that doesn't seem. It's not very good for Russell, is it? I think here he does he is that a snap custom mage? So he taps two. That is a snap custom mage, okay. I think he's going to brainstorm or port it. Even with the uh prowess triggers here with the uh whatever he's gonna flash back, I don't think he can really beat a grave titan. No 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 he can't. I think the one thing that Youngsen is more happy about with the Grave Titan is that he will get two extra zombies when he attacks. But the, the, uh, what this this is a avenue for Young uh, Russell to sort of come back here. So does he flash anything back? I don't think he. Do. I think he targeted maybe predict. Yes, yes. So what he's gonna do is uh, probably throw a couple creatures in front of the Grave Titan, and uh, with the prowess triggers, trade with the Grave Titan. Right. Most likely, most likely. So it's probably gonna predict himself. Oh, oh no, it's the brainstorm. Okay. Okay. brainstorm uh, got he, he it. Didn't target predict. Okay. So there's two triggers. I know there's one trigger only, only I believe. Yeah, this is one trigger. And uh, so one trigger prowess, correct? Yes. Oh, spell. Pi uh, mm, mm. Okay, he sees two spell piercers and a monastery mentor. I don't think that's very valuable. <laughs> no. What's well, a brainstorm? So I think blocks are going to line up here. I believe Grave Titan does not have trample, correct? No, it does not. I think most likely he wants to kill the Grave Titan as soon as possible. One, two, three. Hmm. He has three... I think he has to throw uh, two monks at the Grave Titan and then the Snap Custom Mage. Yeah, one, two, one, two three, four, five. No, this is... Uh, one. I'm just going to throw all of that's that. That's a three, three, a two, two, and a one, one, correct? Yeah. So that's six... Okay, okay, that make, this makes sense too. Okay. Grave Titan dies. Trades for a token. But now Russell has one card in his hand and he's dealing with three zombies. It's probably his spell pierce and he has a monastery mentor on, on his top deck. Right. So. Wow, 
Russell was in such a good position previously, and now suddenly, because of one uh, resolved Grave Titan, suddenly Russell is in such a bad spot. Yep, and Yongsen has a pretty live top decks here. Any reanimate spell will get him back that Grave Titan. Tang Yuan Inc. Yes, uh, I believe this is uh, this is similar to Jerome's Mono Black Reanimator list. Mono Black Reanimator, of course, one of the very one of the very popular entry level decks that people in Grey Ogre games like to build. Yep. I, I believe that Yongsen is the third one. Yeah, third or fourth. Third or fourth guy who built who built this deck as a starting point. So I, I'm actually I actually work at this store Grey Ogre and I have actually uh, <coughs> sold maybe two decks. Two of these. Like people say, I uh, just I want to build black red, mono black reanimator. You're like sure, sure. <laughs> Welcome, join the club. I think it's good. Uh, it's good to have this kind of uh, entry level decks because mono black reanimator is a relatively cheap deck. Lay of the Dead is the most expensive card, and it's not that expensive. It's like thirty bucks. Okay, interesting here. Um, I think Yongsen made the mistake of not attacking before casting the collective brutality. That way. Because he made that spell pierce a legal target, and now the monetary mentor is a three three away from the two two zombie crack. Right. So he should have attacked first. Mm, yeah. I see. I see. I see. So he wouldn't allow Russell to get that prowess trigger. Now it now Yongsen is actually in could be a little tr trouble of actually uh, throwing this a little bit. Well, I believe over here, Russell's top decks are a bit better than Yongsen's. Really? Because Yongsen only nearly needs one, one card. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, he needs, some, he needs a reanimate spell and that's about but it. But Counterbalance is live and he can probably hard cast a Gristlebrand at this point. Right. But I think Russell has more life cards than Yongsen, right? Because yep. he has like a lot of cantrips. Correct. Uh, but while Yongsen has less life draws, but his life draws are very strong. So yeah, we can see a string he of here of non-creature spells mm -hmm. from uh, Russell here. Then uh, it can sort of get out of control the Monastery Mentor. Monastery Mentor, a vintage card, mind you. So yeah, restricted and power vintage. restricted and vintage. Restricted and vintage. There's a lot of there's a lot of legacy cards that are four hours, but restricted and vintage. And can I just name a few? Mystic Forge, Khan the Great Creator, <laughs> um, Monastery Mentor, uh, Brainstorm. You know that? Oh, Brainstorm. I believe Brainstorm. You can only play one. Is it? Yeah, Trinisphere 1, Chalice 1. To totally not because uh, Power 9s are legal in that format. That yeah, totally not. That's not the reason. They warped the format a bit. Golgari Grave Troll. Yeah, go GGT. Rip. Totally also not because Bazaar of Baghdad is a busted card. No? So, um, you believe he uh, he's preordaining, correct? Yeah, this is preordained. And this is the second cantrip of the turn? Yes. After the ponder? Yes, yes. So this is... Uh, if he uh, this, these cantrips are looking at a lot of cards each time, so he, sh he, should be have, he should have an easy time to look for the answer that he wants or otherwise keep chaining cantrips into cantrips. But he chose to stop here because probably he found a counter spell maybe? I mean, you do, mm. want, you do want at least one counter spell because, as I said earlier, Yongsen's life draws are very powerful and if you can stop like another reanimate, mm. that would be really good. The best for draw for him here is maybe a uh, Source of Plowshares because mm -hmm. it allows a blowout in combat on uh, Yongsen's side. Right. Yongsen, if Yongsen swings in, blocks one of the tokens with the Monastery Mentor, plows the other. It's pretty much a blowout. Draws an island. Oh, no, it's a portent. Okay, it's not an island. Yeah, portent himself, trigger... So he has a total of three tokens, I believe. One prowess trigger. Hmm, that's force of will there. He's gonna predict, get more tokens, more prowess. Very cool. Predict the flooded strand. Wow, what a surprise! Actually, um, this counterbalance proving to not be very useful over here after like a certain period of time. No, we, once in a while I'll get something. <laughs> once in a while. Once in a while. 
it didn't get anything so far. So yeah, um, if Russell draws his card on upkeep, he he he, which is the last known card of Portant, his counterbalance is now unknown. Right. So I believe this is three triggers of prowess. So three triggers of prowess makes mentor a four four. Oh, Sorry, it's a, swords a five five. I think there's a swords to plowshare blowout that Russell has in his hand. Ooh, there it is. So this is the fourth prowess trigger, making mentor six six, I believe. Oh wow, this. And Russell just pulled a big power play there. Like so gain t gain two take um a lot take a lot <laughs> twelve I believe uh, did he block one I'm not too sure okay one one went through one went through okay fifteen minus eight is what seven eight. Eight. yeah yep and Youngson just realizes that uh, okay. Russell got there well they also that like you mentioned earlier the swords to plowshare just screwing around the combat math and force Youngson to. Well, I won't say force, but he made he made Yongsen make some really unfavorable blocks, and the blowout there just swung the game right into Russell's favor. Yep, you see the power of monastery mentor, just especially with the Xerox decks, just chaining your cantrips together. You know, cantrip into cantrip, making all these um, free value card, free value tokens. Yeah, very cantrips are uh, very strong in the deck in the deck of monastery mentor and monastery mentor. Proving to be very good, especially if your deck is like half of it is cantrips. Yep. Or maybe like forty percent of it. I believe it's like like what, eight uh four ponder, four brainstorm. I I see preordain, so he's probably running maybe three to f I would say three. Maybe two to three preordains. Right. Maybe the single copy. So yeah, and predict this out as well. So that I think this is more of a blue white mentor miracles. That's miracles. I d this looks like just classic miracles to me. Right, right, right. Blue white miracles. Blue white miracles without the top. Oh, we see a dreadhold arcan is actually. Dreadhold arcan. Yeah. So I I saw it while Russell was oh, thumbing yeah. through his deck. Oh wow. I saw a dreadhold spice. Dreadhold arcan is just. My eyes could be deceiving me though. It's pretty spicy. Yep. You know, with all these one drop cantrips, as we said. Mm. You know that. Sweet value. <laughs> value. Well, Dreadhold Arcan is not seeing a lot of play in modern or standard, but now that we are well, now in Legacy, uh, Dreadhold Arcan price went up because it found a lot of play in Legacy decks like in the Blue Red Delver. And now we see Rusto trying to experiment with it in a in his Blue White Miracles deck as well, splashing the red. I, I I'm pretty sure these Blue White decks they have historically splashed like a volcanic island yep. just to for access to like REB or Pyroblast. Correct. Now making now making use of the red for Dreadhold Arcanist. Yep. So Dreadhold Arcanist is like a uh, comparable to it's comparable to a Dark Confidant except you get the card you get to choose the card you want. And you don't lose a life. And there's not much deck building restriction because when you're playing Miracles you're going to play like so many one drop cantrips or just so many one drop spells. Like you can flashback your source of plow shares if you want. Right. So it's not so it fits right into the Miracles shell. Some pe some people were uh, experimenting it with uh, Grace's control, you know, flashing back your thoughts and stuff. But this first home was blue, uh, blue red, yeah, blue red Delver. Right, right. And uh, yeah, quite surprising because uh, we've seen we've seen uh, the previous months, right? Ever since MH was released, Teamer Delver and the Four C Delver decks with the Ren and Six have been really coming right into power. And uh, last last uh, last monthly as well, last Eternal Sunday, we saw Wei Chen. Was Wei Chen the winner? Wei Chen was a win was a, was a winner, right? I think Wei Chen was playing either Team, was playing Teamer, Teamer Delver. Yeah. yeah, was playing Teamer Delver. And Wei Chen, uh, as we now we're talking about him, Wei Chen is in the store right now, also competing for. For top eight, and uh, he's right in front, right there. Look, he's right there. Maybe he'll uh, return to top eight again. Yeah, who knows? Timo Devil is a good deck. He's a good player as well, so wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Usually, these legacy monthlies, we usually see the same faces in top eight. Right, right. Yep. Can There's I can I just can I have a shout out to my boy Nigel? I believe he top eighted like f four times. Right. So he's actually like he's a he's a top he's a top. Contender, really good DNT player. Shout out to my boy Nigel. 
And but he just couldn't get he never he never can get past quarters quarterfinals. Yeah, he always tells me that he loses uh, in quarters. In the quarters. In, yeah. yeah. Yep. So props. Uh, shout out to uh, my my friend uh, Steven also he's in here. Steven Villaraza. Yeah, Steven's a good player. Blue white, blue yeah, white stone blade. Steven has been like he has won a lot of these tournaments. No, top he has, I believe he hasn't has he won any? I know he topped it plenty. He t I talked to him the other day. I believe he topped it at least th three to four. I believe he won at least once of one of them. Oh, well, there you go. That's the power of Steven. <laughs> Steven, a big advocate of uh, Frexian Metamorph in the Blue White Stone Blade shell. Frexian Metamorph? Yeah, it says you can copy Battle Score and you know, copy your Stoneforge <laughs> Mystic and some memes like that. I don't know. Copy your opponent's Mary Lage if it comes down to <laughs> it. That's, that's what I'm hearing. That's pretty funny. I like that. Yeah. Uh, have we ever seen it? Um, I I've seen it. I died to it, cause you just copy about it. Like you copy a battle skull, then you equip both of them to a true name. And then you're just attacking for like eleven, eleven. eight, four, eight four times two times plus three. Protection from every for protection from target opponent. Yeah, and you uh, sort of died. Eleven power, life link vigilance. So Afian, you you play you dabble in legacy a little bit, right? Yes, yes. So, tell me, what deck do you play? I played the legendary. The best deck in the world. Can you miss land drops with this deck? Yes. You can? Yes. What deck are you playing? I'm playing Manalus Dredge. In fact, I miss land drops every turn. Okay. I miss land drops every game. The deck has been updated a bit. Now uh, it plays a lot more green cards for to make, to make space for the Force of Vigor. So like Shambling Shell and all that? Yeah, Shambling Shell. It actually cut the blue. I'm quite sad about that. But you can save money in Force of Wheels. Yeah, I did save money on Force of Wheels. Thank you. Thank you whoever re reinvented the... The wheel. The, the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, Youngson should be on the play here, and the power of maybe Chancellor of the NX. Mm. Very true, very so true. So, Chancellor of the NX is not a card you usually see out of Mono Black Reanimator. It's usually only in Black Red. Ask me, I, ask me why, I'm not too sure. But yeah, we see a pregame effect in Chancellors. So, this is a trigger that Youngson has to remember. Yes. So, if Youngson doesn't remember this trigger, if Youngson does not remember this trigger, then it's uh, okay. It's A okay. Oh, it passes. Okay. Is Youngson gonna pull a pull a big one here? No, it's not. Quite so I wouldn't be surprised if Russell just tries to try try, try testing the ch uh, Chancellor trigger here. Watch. Ah, uh, no, he doesn't even try. I like Potent. <laughs> that's, what I was, that's what I would do. I do that all the time. Wait, he's stuck on one land. Oh no! You think Youngson remembered, or just Russell just gave it to him? I think Russell gave it to him. Actually. Are you? It looked like he. It looked like he gave it to him. Yeah, I just put it in the graveyard. Right. Oh, this brainstorm. We're gonna see him dig for lands. Interesting. Land. Oh, wait, that's there's there's the land. That's not land. That's such cool. Well, that's actually not that bad because uh. Nothing's happening in Yongsen's corner either. <laughs> that's true, that's true. I see not, I see a fourth land of Yongsen, a Exum, a Chancellor, Dark Ritual, and an enemy dead. Right. So um yeah, so a lot of nothing. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. You think Ah yes, an announcement is made. Six round of Swiss cut into top eight. Ah, okay, and they are readjusting the price pool. In fact, uh, they are buffing it. Stonks. Stonks, yes. They are improving the price pool because of the very good turnout today. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, we see a cleanup step, mentor, and this is a collective brutality. This is this is a really, this is great. Yeah. Because collective brutality can discard that chancellor. And now Yongsen knows, but now Yongsen will have yeah. clean information that Russell is, in fact, do, uh, holding nothing. So, Yongsen is probably thinking about leading with the dark ritual here. Yeah, what I think you do is you lead on the enemy dead, target your opponent's monastery mentor. Oh, oh. Spice. That's that. That's do that's it, Young cool. That's pretty good. See if Young Sun sees the line. I don't think he sees it, but if he if he sees it, that'll be pretty that'll be pretty dope. Cause enemy dead, I believe you can any any creature. Oh, he sees oh, it. He's oh no, yes, reanimate. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, he's taking the the memes. Oh no. Cause this way he can one, two, three, four, five with dark ritual, and um, follow up. Uh, reanimate. Force of will. Yep, that is okay though. 
I think I would have liked it better if Yong Sen played the collective brutality first, though. To, like, you know, for information. No, th this way he can still reanimate his, uh, his, uh, Chancellor the Annex. Right. Oh, no, but he's still gonna target the Monastery Mentor. Wow, he wants that Mentor. <laughs> well, okay, now Russell has, uh, Russell can Surgical Extraction, his own Mentor. This is very good play, I think. Now he has to... Surgical Surgical, his own Mentor. You have to reveal the hand? Okay, can you can you uh? Right, let's go. Let's check it out. Let's check it no, out. maybe he has a, maybe maybe Young has a, maybe has to reveal the hand here. Search. It's oh, search. So he does not have to reveal. All right, and now oh okay, okay he's going to dark ritual. Oh, this is this is good. This is good. Was one two three three uh one he's floating one one oh but not enough for the like, zoom in hand oh no just kind of sad all right all right all he needs to do is just uh last last one turn right oh jeez the container piece is not a target you can take no it's not but I think he's gonna take a celestial perch yeah that is a decent target but now Russell has access to spell pierce it's okay Young Sen is four mana. True, true, true. If he had one more mana, he would cast the Exhum here, but sad. Oh, I, think that's a I think that's a land. No, it's a land. But it's not a white land, which is really good. But now Russell can play... Double spell pierce? Double spell pierce, yeah. Oh, and Tomb. Mm. Tomb is good. Maybe, maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe you just... Yeah, what I would do, I would just cast the Exhum here. Yes, just and just, it out. just, just, you know, pay for the first spell pierce, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Try your luck, man. Let's go. Because Youngsen, because uh, the blowout here is maybe Dark Ritual. One, two, three, four. Right. Spell Pierce. Pay two. Pay two. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce. That's fine. Okay. I got, for, got your two for one. <laughs> right, man. Two for one. <laughs> oh, this is like a Force of Will. Come force on. of Will and uh, Containment Piece? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Okay. So, land, land, uh, land for his draw step. Last card is an Entomb. And this is a... It looks like Reanimate. More oh, that's Totsies. Oh, even better, even better. Totsies is taking away the Containment Priest, I would assume. But he has Snapcaster, Force Will, Containment Priest. These are all very good cards. Force Will, Brainstorm. Uh, wait, only got two mana here. I think there's a flash in the... Snapcaster. Snapcaster. Surgical. Target Surgical. Okay. Is he, what's, is he called Surgical like the... Surgical himself again, uh, I'm just joking. I think he's called Surgical the one, one of the reanimated re re Yeah. Cards, right. Okay, takes the containment priest. Okay, pass the turn. What will surgical here? Oh my gosh, it's like so exciting. Surgical, the Chancellor of the Annex. Okay. That's okay because I think uh, Yong Sen also does not have any. Well, Chancellor of the Annex is not a very high, high. High value reanimate target, right? Yeah, not on this matchup. Yeah, better, there are a lot of better things to reanimate, like a uh, Grave Titan or Gristle Brand. Yeah, you should have started with Gristle Brand. Yeah, <laughs> Gristle up. Brand. Gristle Brand, Grave Titan, Gristle Brand again. <laughs> well, he has four of the four of those. So do you think you just take your spot here and cast into him? Yeah, I, I just do it. Because there's no other there's no other targets I believe in the graveyard to reanimate anymore. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't. I guess you have that containment priest. Yeah, that's true. that's true. Question: If you reanimate containment freeze, does it exile itself? No. I'm not. You know, okay, sure. No. It doesn't. <laughs> if anyone in chat can tell us that, because <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't, right? Because I, I know, I know, exhum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> I think it doesn't. I know it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. <laughs> but here, here it is. And tomb into gristle brand, big G. So the draw step, I believe, was a land, right? No, that's, his, that's, that's the end step. No, I mean for your hustle. Ah, yeah, it's your hustle. Because last, last card was a fossil wheel. Oh, th th that's a reanimate. Oh, was it? no, it's a reanimate. Ah, top deck, God. Okay, Russell, Russell's like, oh my God. Oh my God. All these dirty combo players. Wow, what a top deck. Russ Young Sen, most talented reanimated player in Singapore. The thing is, does he go? I think he just passed the turn here. No need to risk it. 
and now Russell needs like swords or something. Oh no, how will he fight through this? <laughs> Mismatching swamps. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now Yongsu's at 70 and Russell's at 6. Don't bother, just going to just go to 10 again. <laughs> oh boy. Exhume. Totsie. Swamp. Swamp. Play of Dead. Yeah, I think this guy is... This guy is preloaded. Yongsu has this in the bag, I think. Do you, like, go for more... Go for more plays here, like you. Um, you put more stuff. In the okay, he played. Anime? He played a land already, I believe. Did he? Okay. Now he's gonna sacrifice. He's gonna play more stuff. Massacre worm. Oh no. Okay, okay. It's over. It's over. Hard cast massacre worm. Wow. Young Sen so good at the game. Very talent. Uh, just like that, with a series of very fortunate and strong top decks, Yongsun gets it. Wow. Slams the Massacre Worm to ensure the victory. Russell just had nothing. Russell running low on cards in his hand. Yep. I'm free. Sorry. And uh, Yongsun, with the, with the card advantage that Grizzle Brand uh, gives you, no way he was losing that. Yep, so I... I'm I was pretty sure Youngson had played a land before the uh, Lake of the Dead. But I think we, there was a concession there from Russell, so I don't think it mattered. Yeah, I don't think it mattered, but trying our best to uh maintain try uh, game state. Maintain good game state, yes. <laughs> and Russell I think is going to the toilet. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll clarify. Okay, thanks. Thanks. So um I believe that uh, Russell, his opponent, clarified that no, he did not play an extra land. So okay, okay. Thanks, Russell. Russell, good guy. Good guy, Russell. Russell Lee. Isn't Russell Lee the name of an author? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is now uh, one to one. This is, what, do you think this, what do you think about this matchup in general, actually? How do you feel? Well, as you have 15 minutes on the clock, and I believe Black Red Reanimator is one of the decks to do that. <laughs> Within Finish. 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Pictures. What? Why are you I'm taking pictures in the booth? I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it on my gram so people can gram. watch. Why don't you shout out your gram here? Uh, it's, that's okay. It's just like my personal gram. Your personal gram, okay. Okay, and now Russell is going to be on the on the play. Yongsen here uh, would be really good if he had like the Chancellor of the Annex. The Chancellor, I think, was really strong the last game because Russell only had one island in his hand and uh, he did not have the means to pay the tax. And here it is, Chancellor of the Annex again. Scalding Tan, the play here for Russell. And now Yongsen is going to play his first land. Pass the turn. I think he's just going to. Hmm, does not have the nut draw in his hand, actually. Both players just playing the waiting game. And I uh, hear the instant speed and tomb. Russell Lee uh, forced to do something here. And tomb the first part of his combo. And Fluster Storm going to stop the and tomb. He has to. Okay, okay. He did not pay the Chancellor tax, actually. Youngster forgot about the Chancellor tax, so Russell now uh, has a scouting turn up. Got him. Got him. And here comes the ponder. One, two, three. So, uh, what happened to the Entomb? Hmm? What happened to the Entomb? Fluster Storm. Oh, that's a Fluster Storm. Yeah, okay. and uh, I think Youngster forgot his uh, Chancellor thing. Huh. Yeah, Th didn't, didn't really matter anyway because Russell had another land. But I guess it sort of matters because now, you know, the fetch, in, fetch lands can have a, so, some utility. You can clear a top deck. So you can clear that fetch land out of the way. Right, right. It's marginal, but sometimes it matters. Mm. 
now Russell's hands a bit a bit much better than the last run. Uh, lots of counter spells, a source of plowshare. A white sauce. A white sauce, yes. I think he has all the colors, uh, all the colors uh, at, his at, his, at his disposal right now. Problem is, I don't think Russell plays a plateau. Yeah, I don't think he has red and white at yeah, the same he can't, time. He can't play red and white. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny though if uh, he starts. One off plateau. Yeah, one off plateau. Young son of his lango. Oh, I have. I, I, this is not very good. Uh, I have to. Yeah, and uh, thank you to S86002 as well as Warrior1667 for following us. We appreciate hey, your Hey, thanks support. for the follow. Thanks for the follow, guys. We appreciate your support. And it's going to just, just slam the container press here. Young Sam, you know what to do. Hard cast that Grave Titan. Oh, yeah. Or Massacre Worm. Oh, yeah. Do, do they play Massacre Worm? Yeah, he just stamped it just the last game. Hmm. Is it time for the Containment Priest beatdown? Youngson's gonna need like the... What, what's that? Collective Brutality. Collective Brutality here would be really good against Containment Priest. But... Uh, Russell probably has counter spell for that. Youngson... Kind of a bit in the corner here, but he has to do something, or Russell's just gonna run away with this game. So he's gonna tap one and it's gonna play a uh, Lake of the Dead. Okay, okay, it's gonna try casting a big spell. Maybe it's gonna be Massacre Worm. Okay, now I think this is a, a good time for what we call a force of will moment. Yep, he just forces Massacre Worm. I don't think this resolves, man. This is a force. Yeah. This is definitely a force target. So a lot of dead cards in Yongsen San. He has, uh, I believe, Anime Dead Exhum, a Chancellor, which was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he can't. Really Whistlebrand. And he can't do anything. Can't do anything about those because of the Containment Priest. So this one single card just hosing Yongsen's entire game plan, forcing him to play fair. But unfortunately for Yongsen, playing fair is what Russell does a lot better because Blood Control is the ultimate fair deck, as some would say. Or maybe that would be Timo Delver. Oh, wait, no, it resolves? His containment priest bites the dust. Yeah. I, I do, snap, do you guys still get the snap? Do you still get... Is it, is it a static debuff when, it, when it's in play? So my question is, uh, do you still get the ETB trigger off Snapcast image if it is? No, it's a one-time... It's a one-time thing, yeah. So okay, Monastery Mentor. Okay, so he, I think he just wants to swap to plowshare this and gain some... Ah, okay, underst I, un I understand Russell's game plan. He wants to... He wants to make full use of the Monastery Mentor. So he wants to save the counter spell and all that other stuff for when he for when he spent toys on the field so he can get more tokens. Yeah, so because he has a sort of pulse in hand, he can easily deal this massacre worm and he probably wants to keep the force for something like a reanimate Gristle brand. But or this. Yeah. See, um, if I was in Russell's shoes, I would, me personally, I would probably force the massacre worm. Right. Because there's no way, because it, it forces your reanimate reanimate the opponent to deal with the containment priest. Okay, but Russell, a uh, pretty good player, so I'm pretty sure he he sees something that we don't. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm he was when when the massacre worm was first shown to him, he was very very much thinking about forcing it. But he must have thought of another line of play because time is time is the issue right now. There is eight minutes left, and Russell probably wants to end this game as soon as possible, so he might be inclined to take the route. There is there is a. Uh, that makes him win faster instead of just going to time. So you smack here with the... Uh, <coughs> Massacre Worm? I believe there's no creatures in the graveyard except for the Containment Priest, correct? Right. I 
think he's going for the fetch S into swords. swords. Yeah. Another Tundra. Normally these decks only play one Tundra. Yeah, but even money you play more. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Swords the Massacre Worm. Goodbye. At least he gets lots of life though. So I believe Yongsen's one minute off from hardcasting the Gristle Brand because uh, it's three plus four to seven. Right. Gristle Brand is an eight eight. Mm, I think Russell here is trying to go for the win with his uh with the multiple prowess triggers he yep, has. Yeah, so he can turn the corner as well. Right. So I believe this is his uh how many tokens does he have in play with this brainstorm? This is his third token. Okay. We should really invest in those like big ass dice. You know those like big white ones? Like they use an SCG. Right, right. Yeah. We should, yeah. Yeah. But do we have those uh foam dice? Yeah, those are lame though. Why are those ones lame? Those are cool. Yeah, but they're like I like I like the big white ones. Okay, anyways, so um So we have two prowess triggers here. Oh you know, we have just one, just no, one, just we, one. we have three tokens, one prowess triggers. Right. Okay, it's gonna attack. This is uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Yongsen here is uh, ooh, is he going for it? So so G Daddy. It's oh. G Daddy. Big G. Oh, Gristle Brad. <laughs> okay, but Russell has uh, Swords of Tausha, so this is not it's not a big problem for him. It's I okay, think. he just draw seven. Yeah, draw seven. I lose, think lose yeah. seven life. It's okay. But he has no mana to cast anything from those seven cards though. Right? So I think this is Russell's uh, turn to win. It's interesting Yongsen doesn't draw 7 on his own turn. So he can go to clean up step, discard any other fatty he has. Mm. Uh, Yongsen is at 7, then he'll go back up to 7. Yeah, so now he's still at 17. Oh, no, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yongsen, same. It's the same, man. It's the same, bro. Okay, does he want to do, he wants to do more stuff? Can he even do more stuff? Oh, there's a discard. Okay. This is when? This is at a cleanup step? Yep. Oh, this is at his Yongsen's end step. So yeah, he still needs to go to cleanup. Right, right. I think Russell got this though. Yeah, he so interesting that Russell maybe should have sorts of plowshares on his upkeep or on his turn. So Yongsen doesn't, he doesn't allow Yongsen to go to cleanup mm. and discard. Okay. But then again, it does allow doing this allows Youngson have uh, Russell one more token to attack with next turn. Ah yes, I think that is more important actually. Yeah, so I believe he has uh one two three four, four tokens, one mentor, so that's uh four five six, six, uh damage without any prowess. Right. But with prowess, it's additional one two three four five. It's eleven with prowess, with one trigger of prowess and lethal with another trigger of prowess. So if if you, uh, if Russell can string together two non-creature spells here, which I believe he can, he it should it should be lethal with that Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, four, five, six, six times two, it's twelve. Yeah, it should be fine. Snapcaster, brainstorm. Okay, I think he's gonna get a prowess dice. Is one. Come on, is this more? Oh, there it is. Brainstorm. It should be fine. So, Drill Arcanist and Counterbalance going to the top deck. Yeah, 6 plus 5, 11, plus another 5. It's 16, actually. Wait. If I'm unless I'm counting it wrong. I think regardless if he casts one more card here, it's game over. Yep, and uh, Yongsen, I think is counterbalance. Yep, he's dead. Okay, with counterbalance, I believe that it should be dead. Yeah, mm, and Russell very skillfully takes it. I think uh, his his plays weren't very uh, 
they weren't very how you say obvious to us, right? He made some very uh, unique line of play that we did not see. So props to him. He he actually chose the more the faster route to victory, taking the time to consideration. So yeah, pretty good. What are you doing, man? Just seeing the chat. If anyone uh, said anything. Okay. Anyway, guys, that is it for the first round of Eternal Sunday. Do stay tuned for round two. We will be back in about five minutes' time. Do not go away. If you want to find out more of the GOG Invitationals, you can always go to facebook.com slash greatogregames and uh, follow, out, follow our events over there. And if you want to find more videos, you can always go to youtube.com slash greatogregames. And if you are watching on YouTube, do catch us live on twitch.tv slash greatogregames. Every Wednesday, 8 p.m. GMT plus 8 Singapore time, we have a three-round modern event, casual, and uh, sometimes on Sundays, such as this, we have special uh, high stake, higher stakes events. So yes, for myself and Ned, we will be right back for round two. Goodbye. Okay, see you. <laughs>